<laughs> Sorry, sir. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 Let's get this over your hip bones. In this town we call home. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this in January. It's another day. Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. We weren't ready. We weren't ready, but we're always ready at the same time, right, Mr. Skeleton? <sighs> I can't believe it's happening. It's happening. It's happening, people. Okay, so here's the story with what's happening with Halloween right now. So I was on the Halloween Forever Facebook group, which is our Facebook group here. Uh, I'll link it in the description box if you're looking for it. I saw that a bunch of people were posting that Michael's getting in all of this Halloween stuff, for one, and two, it was 90% off, 90% off, or 80%, some, people, some places it's 80%. So I didn't go up there, I haven't been going up there, because I was thinking, you know, our stores out here by me all were fully stocked around Halloween time. Like we got a lot of stuff in. Some of the stuff rolled out a little bit later, but I feel like our stores were fully stocked. We're on the Facebook group. I saw throughout the um, throughout the season last year that some stores didn't get anything at all. They're now getting like fully stocked stores and all that kind of stuff. So I, I was thinking, oh, I doubt we have anything out here. I did see some stuff sprinkle in around, um, if you were out holiday decor hunting with me, uh, you saw, I think it was like the first day we went, we found this, these really cool jars that had these little branchy things in it. It was like a whole witchy situation. It was amazing. I saw those there, but I wasn't really thinking I was gonna see much else, but someone over on the Halloween Forever Facebook group, if you know, you know, if you're out there, uh mentioned that they were in my area and found some halloween stuff at michael's so i was like okay well maybe i will go look now and see what we can find so i'm gonna go to a couple of different michael's today and we're gonna see what's out there see if we can find any halloween got my ho7s all hallows eve shirt on today so i'm hoping this brings us luck Anyways, we're here at Michael's already. We just got here. I'm so excited. Are you excited, Mr. Skeleton? He's excited. I've missed you. Come on, we're going in. Let's go. All right, so just left Michael's. Before we talk about what we just saw at Michael's, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video because it's actually supposed to warm up today. So if you know, then you know we're always putting on deodorant in the car. <laughs> So today's video is sponsored by Native. I've been around here for a while, then you know that Native has been my favorite deodorant lately. I cannot stop talking about it. Talked about their fall collection, their holiday collection, and now I got some new scents to show you. If you haven't heard of or tried Native deodorants before, Native makes deodorants that are aluminum and paraben-free, also cruelty-free and vegan. And unlike other aluminum-free deodorants I've tried in the past that are really slimy and sticky, the Native deodorants are not like that at all. They go on really nice and smooth. They are not slimy. They have two different types of packaging. They have their original packaging and then they have their new plastic free packaging. And I'll show you the difference between the two so you can see the same formula as the original packaging, but with much more sustainable packaging. For me, if there's a plastic free option, I'm trying to get better about that. If there's a plastic free option, I'm going with that. And with the plastic free packaging, you just take off the sleeve like so and then you just press up the bottom like a push pop and the deodorant comes right out and then you just apply it from there oh my gosh this one smells so good also one of my favorite things about the native deodorants i love the scents they offer they have a ton of variety they have different seasonal scents like i mentioned the holiday scents that i picked out around the holiday season um, but i got some new scents that i'm really excited about picked out the eucalyptus mint which is Mm, just so nice and fresh smelling, but also I'm getting like a calming vibe from it. Got this one. This is the collab with Baked by Melissa. This is the tie-dye vanilla cupcake scent, and it smells so good. A good amount of vanilla, but not too much. I don't know. I love the smell of baked goods underneath my armpits. I don't know what it is about it. I can't stop wearing it, if you know the sugar cookie scent I tried. Uh, also, I got this one. This might be my new favorite. This is the citrus and herbal musk scent. <laughs> 
There's something about citrus and musk, the combo, I'm obsessed with. This smells so good. Anyways, if you wanted to try native deodorants, three plastic-free deodorants are normally $39. But if you click my link down in the description box and enter code Libra4 for 33% off, that's three plastic-free deodorants for just $26. That's a steal of a deal. Right, Mr. Skeleton? I cannot get enough of these native deodorants. If you watch my what's in my bag video, I always have a native deodorant in my bag. So here's the deal, Mr. Skeleton. Here is the deal we're headed to the next michaels we didn't see anything there there wasn't one halloween thing just lots of christmas clearance they had some valentine's day stuff which i didn't get a good look at but now that i'm thinking of it if we don't see any halloween today we're just gonna look at valloween stuff and see if we can't find anything i was thinking about doing not a, i don't know i guess i could decorate full-on valloween valentine's day meets halloween extravaganza decoration whoa lady I'm trying to pull out in front of me i don't know if i have enough decor for that though i mean i have more than enough how i guess we could just do halloween but we do halfway to halloween so i don't want to do too much halloween specific i was going to do more of like a romantic thing so if we don't do the mantle i kind of wanted to regardless do a valloween tree since if you know me then you know that um I uh, still have my Christmas tree up. It's just inevitable. The school is always behind on everything. <laughs> so if we don't find any Halloween today, we're going to find some Halloween stuff. And we're going to see if we can find stuff to decorate our tree with. I have bats, but I was wanting some hearts, preferably black. But we can always, you know, spray paint them if we can't find black. Um, anyways, so that was kind of a bust. I'm sorry that was a disappointment. But it's all part of the hunt. Really, I just wanted to do this video, if you're out there, and you're living in an area where your Michaels didn't get much, like you're like, my Michaels never got anything. Check your Michaels because I'm thinking you might find some stuff. I'm not gonna lie, they had some boxes out at Michaels and they had like little um, like handles on them where you could see through them. And I was like peeking in to see if there was any Halloween in there. I noticed they were getting their plants and stuff in, so. Oh well, what can you do? I almost thought about not going either because right now I'm decluttering and organizing everything. There's just, just wait until you see my office. My office clean out is gonna be probably the worst we've seen. I just feel like I, there's just so much stuff and everything is just cluttered. And so I was just like, maybe I don't need to go to a store for another year. But I was like, 90% off. I feel like that's just missing out on a really amazing opportunity to get some stuff for a really, really good price. So here we are. We're out <laughs> getting more stuff. Michaels, here we come. We're almost there. You're going to go and see what they got here. We're going into Michaels and Home Goods slash TJ Maxx. We're going to see if we can find some spooky Betsy Johnson bags. And we're going to see if we can find anything Halloween looking. So we got Michaels and we got Home Goods slash TJ Maxx. First up, Michaels. Here we come. There is nothing. Nothing. Nothing, Mr. Skeleton. Nothing. They had a bunch of Christmas clearance. We're going to try two more Michaels's. To cheer us up, Mr. Skeleton, because we didn't see anything Halloween. Not one little thing. Not even like a little gnome or a yoga skeleton. Like, but something seems off. I don't know. All right, people. We're going to Taco Bell and we're getting a Baja Blast. That's what we're doing to make us feel better. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Can I get a large Baja Blast, please? There's a Baja Blast. Ow, ow, ow. Burning, burning. Fucking hand sanitizer. All right, we're getting that straw in. So, let me just say, first and foremost, I really missed Halloween decor hunting with y'all. I can't wait until June. Oh, but we're gonna have to wait, Mr. Skeleton. We need to be patient. All right, we got our Baja Blast. We're hoping for the best. Last two Michaels. We're gonna make it happen. Conjuring the Halloween spirit through our Baja Blast. <laughs> I haven't had one of these in so long. I'm so excited. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> that 
<laughs> mm, it hurts so good. My insides are sparkling. We're ready, Mr. Skeleton. Hoping the next two places, fingers crossed, we see anything at all today. Um, okay, but I did forget to mention the Halloween stuff. Oh, the, it's hot. Like, I don't even need the AC on. How do I turn this off? Or heat on, I meant. I don't need the heat on, not AC. I may need the AC on. It's 58 degrees? What? Okay, it's fall. Where's the Halloween decorations? Anyways, what was I jabbing my jaws about? Who knows at this point? Oh, the Halloween stuff that I looked at. Anyways, went to Michael's, saw. God, that's so good. I saw some ornaments, some heart ornaments that were red and they had shiny and sparkly. And I felt like those would be really easy to spray paint if I don't end up going with the red. Or I could mix in red and black. That's what I'm thinking maybe for my Halloween tree. I saw some other things, some little things that stick out of a tree. Some little, they're like, they stick out. I don't know what, what, what we're calling those, sticks. Hearts on sticks is what they are. Anyways, I felt like we could either spray paint those black or just put them in as red. I don't know what to put on top of my Halloween tree. I think this is my most... I think this is what I'm most confused about. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Anyway, so then I went over to Home Goods and they had a couple of things that could maybe be considered darker Valentine, like Halloween stuff. They had this pillow, like, you know, the bolster type of pillows, the ones that are kind of like you sit up in bed and it had black and white hearts all over it. Um, but it was black and white. So I was like, oh, that's a little bit of a Halloween feel. Well, they had some creepy, actually they were kind of cute, but also creepy. These Valentine's elves with these little pointy ears or little fairies, I don't know what they were. And they were kind of cute, but also kind of creepy. All those little dolls creep me out sometimes uh, in the best way possible. Um, then they had, what else? Oh, they had some wallets. They didn't have any purses, but they did have some wallets that were kind of cute, Halloween type of vibe. They had a black wallet with lips all over it, but it was all black. It's kind of like my skull purse. It was Betsy Johnson, just like it, but it had lips instead of skulls all over it. They had a couple other wallets just in different styles, but same print. They were black with red and pink uh, kisses on it, like, you know, kiss marks, lip, lip marks all over it. I know, Mr. Skeleton, it's rough out there. I don't know what we're gonna get you to wear for Valentine's Day. Let me tell you, I'm just, I hope we see some, something, just anything. I, I would be, honestly, I was just complaining about gnomes, but I would be happy to see a Halloween gnome at this point. I would be fine with it. Just anything Halloween, just show it to me. We're going to Michael's, we're almost there. Is this where Michael's is? No, it's up here. No, it's a church. We're definitely not going there today. <laughs> Oh, nothing like rolling up to a church with a big old skeleton in your front seat. Okay, here we go. We're pulling into Michael's 3.0. Oh, that's a big pothole if I've ever seen one. It makes me want to kind of pull in it just for nostalgic purposes, but I'm not. Don't worry. We're here at Michael's. Going in. Just left Michael's. Y'all, nothing. <laughs> okay, I saw the area where they had the clearance. It had pumpkins and stuff. But my guess is the word got out. This is what I feared last year. Remember that dream I had when I dreamt that we missed Halloween? Do you remember that? That I slept through it or something? <laughs> Which wouldn't be surprising. I just... <laughs> I'm so sad that I missed it. Oh, well, we have one more we're going to. Hopefully, they have Halloween here. If not, we missed it, and we saw some stuff that could be Halloween, but not at all. And this is just a whole... I mean, we're going to go online when we get home and see if we see anything new. Honestly, I'm so bummed out. I just wanted to see one thing. They didn't have one little fake bug. Not even one piece of glitter was left from those obnoxiously glittered anything and everything during Halloween. Nothing, nothing. One little pumpkin, nothing damaged. It's all gone. 
Don't mind me, I'm just gonna cry my Baja Blast over here. <laughs> also, if you didn't find anything at your Michaels, we can, you know, sulk together in the comment section, drown in our Halloween tears. It sounded so emo. I don't even care. I am emo, okay? Ugh. Keep driving. Nothing to see here. So we're going to this one last Michaels. Let's stay optimistic, positive vibes. The last one I went to was the one where somebody who lives in my area on the Facebook group said that they had a bunch of stuff at that one. So I know I missed it because there was stuff there at one point. You know what? In the grand scheme of things, do I need more Halloween right now? No, I need to be going through my Halloween stuff. But if I see Halloween at this next Michaels, do you think I'm gonna buy some? Absolutely, we will. <laughs> it's the name of the game. And if, for those of you out there who are like, you could have called, okay, no, 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 no. The best part of this whole thing is the hunt. That's the best part. You just, it, 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 it's just so much, even when you don't see anything, it's just fun to go drive around in your car with a skeleton, you know? So, you know, we're just gonna put out a whole video of us Halloween decor hunting and finding zero Halloween because there was nothing, not one thing. It just got picked over, y'all. It got picked over and I don't know what to do about it. And I don't know how to get out of here. And my heart is broken into a million pieces. <laughs> we didn't see any Halloween today, people. I was optimistic too, y'all. I thought we were gonna see Halloween. I just didn't wanna have to wait until June to see more Halloween, but definitely check in your area. Uh, we're gonna go home and look online and see what we see. <laughs> see what we see. See what we can find. In the meantime, I'm gonna run really quickly to Dollar Tree to see if we can find any Halloween stuff. Uh, now we're gonna park here next to a sewer and hope that Pennywise doesn't come to get Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> Trying to make horror jokes because I'm so depressed about it. All right, we're going into Dollar Tree. We're going to see if we can find anything for Halloween. Hope for the best. If not, I think I need some like dust cloths because we're going to continue cleaning and organizing. Maybe this is a sign that I need to not be buying Halloween and instead I need to be organizing my Halloween stuff and figuring out what I'm gonna need for this year. Can't believe I'm putting out a video that has zero Halloween in it, but we tried. Okay, we're going into uh, Dollar Tree and I'll meet you guys back out here. All right, just left Dollar Tree and of course we didn't see Halloween, but we did see some good Halloween potential there. We got Mr. Skeleton something while we were in there. Right, Mr. Skeleton? We got him. <laughs> this fantastic heart Valentine's Day headband. <laughs> Looks good on you, sir. And then, I don't know, what else do you wanna wear? Do you wanna wear something else that we got? How about a little heart? S stick it in your clavicle area. You look fresh, Mr. Skeleton. We gotta wait until June, Mr. Skeleton, to see See Halloween and I, you know you know what could happen this year <laughs> this is gonna be a prediction y'all come on mr. skeleton get with it so here's my prediction since all the brands and everybody know about this shipping delay and all that kind of stuff my guess is stores are gonna be ordering a lot earlier this year for Halloween which also could mean stores could they may hold on to it and not put it out yet but they could put Halloween out earlier this year. That's my prediction, is that we're gonna see a lot more Halloween in June places than we did well, last year. I don't think we saw any Halloween in June. I think it was like this video, where I was like, we're one Halloween hunting, and there was not one freaking piece of Halloween out there. Um, sorry about that, by the way. Uh, but that's my prediction. Uh, anyways, back to Halloween at home, nope. Where do we go? Dollar Tree. Went to Dollar Tree. They had some good stuff for Halloween. Some good looking stuff. Lots of stuff that could be spray painted black for sure. 
They had some hearts. They had some of the stuff that they had over at Michael's, like similar things, like those little stick things that you stick into your tree or you can stick into a bouquet or whatever kind of centerpiece you're doing. Some roses they had, but they're red and white. I didn't see any black roses, but that's all right because I got a ton from Halloween season that I can use in my tree. They also had like paint it yourself kind of stuff. So they had like the wooden hearts and wooden XOXO and love and that kind of stuff. They also had this one, they were technically stickers, but I think I can make ornaments out of them. They had one that said kiss me, which I'm, I'm not really too sure about that one, but they did have one that had, uh, it was kind of like a cherub with a little frame around it. And I loved that vibe. So I'm just gonna spray paint that black when I'm spray painting everything else. And so I think I might do a red and black, I, my tree is white. So I might do red and black or all black, but I thought about just red and black, mixing the two and bats and spiders and stuff like that. I totally wasn't gonna do it, but now I'm all excited about it and I gotta do it. They also had those headbands, like I got Mr. Skeleton. Uh, it's his new Valentine's Day outfit. But we did see some Halloween potential there. And I think that's the place to go if you're looking for Halloween stuff because I feel like it can't be a dollar, you know what I mean? Although the ornaments at Michael's, I preferred. They had some there at, at Dollar Tree, they were much smaller, and my tree is larger, so I did prefer the heart ornaments at Michael's. That's pretty much it. We didn't see one Halloween thing today, Mr. Skeleton. We went all over town. And then I'll see you guys at home because we're gonna do, get online, and we're gonna see if they have any Halloween anywhere. We're gonna look at a couple different places. Hey everyone, we are back. We've got Neens here with us now. Hey Neens. What you doing, did you just eat your dinner? Uh, anyways, I was gonna show you some of the Halloween stuff that we got from uh, Dollar Tree, y'all right? Was that a good lunch? Oh, excuse you. Anyways, I'm gonna show you some Halloween stuff that we got from the Dollar Tree. What else was I gonna show you? Oh, we were gonna look online for some Halloween decorations. So my thought was, well, I'll get into my thought here in a second. First, I'll show you my Halloween decorations. I got a hair in my eyeball right now. Okay, so here's the stuff that we got between Dollar Tree and Michaels. Let's start here. I got these, I don't even know if I'm gonna use these, but I thought they were kind of cute. These heart, LED string lights. I don't think I showed these in the video because I saw them at the very last minute. Also got a couple of these. I don't know if I'm spray painting these black or if I'm gonna keep them red. I also got these rose clips. They're like glittery rose clips. Um, and then these stickers. These are technically stickers, but I figured I could make ornaments out of them. But the one with the little cupid in the heart, I love that, the little cupid. I might be lazy and not use these, but I'll have them for a later date, but I think I might paint these black. Also got a couple things for potential toppers because my holiday topper for my tree is a big star. Uh, so I thought about some heart stuff. Maybe this one or maybe a combination. I don't know yet what I'm doing or I might just stick some of these hearts and some flowers at the top, but I'm not sure yet. So we're gonna keep our options open. Also for Michael's, I found these little hearts on sticks situation. Also got these heart ornaments. I got two little bucket things of these heart ornaments. They had very similar ones at Dollar Tree, but I like the size of these ones. I got two of these because I thought about spray painting one batch black, but got some ornaments. These were, how much were these? Uh, $4.99, that's upside down. Oh God. So that's what I got. We're gonna work with this and whatever spooky stuff we got. We're gonna do a full on Halloween tree, so stay tuned for that. All right, let's go look and see if we can find more Halloween decorations. Let's do it. Excuse me, can I get in or is this just your chair? Okay, so as I was driving around and realized we weren't gonna see any Halloween today, I was like, okay, wait, there has to be other stores doing this because Michael's wasn't the only late one. One store in particular that was very late putting stuff out and if you know it, you know what it is, and you know what I'm gonna say, it was Spirit Halloween. Spirit Halloween was a super late one last year, so I figured maybe we would, we could do some searching and go and look on Spirit Halloween, see if they have anything new. Also look at a couple other places. I'm not sure, I, kinda, I came home and saw on the Facebook group, because honestly I was looking to see if anyone else was having bad luck at Michael's. <laughs> I did see a couple people out there. Uh, but on the Facebook group, 
sorry, hair. I did see that some of the Michaels out there, they're starting to do these grab bags where it's $5 and it's just a random box filled with Halloween stuff, which is kind of funny because I was just at Michael's and saw a bunch of boxes stacked up. They all said spring on them and had like pictures of spring and green and stuff. So it wasn't Halloween. I even peeked through the handles a little bit. It wasn't Halloween where I was at, but um, some areas they have these big boxes all stacked up and they're $5 and you get a bunch of Halloween stuff. Some of it's kids crafts, but others I've seen people get full skeletons like that. I would, I would seriously be so excited if I got a freaking full grown skeleton for $5. You know, you got to take advantage of the, of the good deals when you when you have the chance, because I feel like this year stores are going to be ready. They're going to be prepared. So um, anyways, OK, let's let's get online and, and take a little gander, shall we? All right. So here we are on the interwebs. We're on Spirit Halloween. Let's see if they have anything new. Let's let's do some decorations. And I like to sort by newest first, if possible, so we can see what kind of stuff we didn't see before. So, um. Already off the bat, I don't remember seeing this. If anyone else saw, I definitely did not see this in stores. This trick or treat wagon LED light. Can't tell if it's a sign or if it's like a standing tabletop decor. Does it say? No, not really. But I don't remember seeing this. 30 bucks. So I don't really think anything's on sale. Wait, is there a sale? I also don't remember seeing this haunted mansion door knocker. I feel like if you're a haunted mansion collector, this would be awesome to have on your bedroom door or your office door or even your front door if you want to go there. Back. Don't remember seeing this light up. Uh, this is another haunted mansion piece. There's only nine in stock, so hopefully it's still in stock when I post this. Light up welcome foolish mortals wreath. It's a light up wreath. Um, what else? I don't remember seeing the dream catcher or I, I don't know that I remember this. Maybe I do remember this light, this it lamp Pennywise holding a red balloon lamp. Does anyone remember this? Uh, we've seen a lot of the Beetlejuice stuff. What else? I don't know that I remember these candlestick holders, these tarot candlestick holders. Uh, or this hanging barb, uh, Barbara from Beetlejuice, and this uh, gothic noir dish towels. Do we see these? I don't know that we saw these either. I know I didn't see them in stores. There's only three left. This Mystic Arts snake candle holder. I also don't remember this, where it's like this candlestick holder with a snake wrapping around it. Um, but they have a lot of Haunted Mansion stuff left on here. If you're collecting like this mantle scarf. I don't remember seeing this. Limit of two per order, so it must be popular. Uh, but it's a Haunted Mansion mantle scarf, $14.99. And I love all of their mantle scarves and their and their tablecloths, their table runners. I love all their, I've, I've talked about them a million times. What is this? Michael Myers Have a Knife Day doormat. It's a doormat that says Have a Knife Day. That's good, that's good. I don't remember seeing that. I have seen, I think there was either a pillow or a blanket or something that said that before. Um, I also don't know, do I remember this Annabelle cup? I don't know, but I kind of need it. What's the back say? May God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like they have quite a bit of stuff still on their website. I kept seeing this one, I feel like, in different promos but never saw it in person. The trick or treat light up flaming pumpkin decoration. Did anyone see this in stores? Yeah, it looked really cool. I love that. But maybe I just, you know, sometimes you don't realize that you saw it until you look again and then you, it was there the whole time, but I feel like that's not the case. This guy, I don't remember seeing this. This pumpkin light up entryway situation i do not remember seeing this but for 150 bucks i feel like that's not horrible for a big blow-up thing they've still got henry hustle should we watch it just for funsies we should shouldn't we <laughs> step right up and pick a card it seems you've picked the card of death <laughs> Every time it gets me. 
He was probably my favorite last year, I think. I, mean, I did not need to get on this website at all. <laughs> I'm gonna be broke before Halloween even gets here. Okay, so I figured we'd also go really quickly onto TJ Maxx and Marshalls to see if they have any Halloween. And it looks like they still have some stuff and it's super marked down. Like this table runner is $7 from $20. What is this, another table runner? Pumpkins. Uh, that one's full price though, it looks like. A Ray Dunn mug, y'all. Uh, this is kind of a cute table runner. The spider web table runner with these little spiders dangling down from it. That's cute. $7, can't beat that. A cute little toddler skeleton sleep set for five bucks. These are kind of cute, these little skull outfits. What's this? That's cute. Bunch of little skull outfits. This one's cute. Ray Dunn Halloween socks, only one left. Let's check Marshalls. I don't know if they have different stuff depending on the store, but okay, yes. I got a gnome pillow, y'all. I knew we were gonna see some gnomes in this video. If it was the last thing we did, we were gonna see some gnomes. Also this like witch sign, some pumpkins. These are kind of cute, these little spider lanterns. Last chance, 15 bucks. Only one left. Creepy cloth, what is this? Spider web creepy cloth mantle scarf is what it is. That's cute, 15 bucks. That's kind of a cute table runner. Has a spooky house with a bunch of bats flying up. Five bucks. Dang. A Ray Dunn Boo wall plaque. Like a little ghosty wall plaque. There's that same table runner. The Witch's Inn pillow. Fifteen bucks. An animated decor doorbell for seven bucks. Look at that. And it looks like, oh, this is kind of cute. This little sweater with silver skulls all over it, 10 bucks. Maybe it's a sweatshirt, I don't know what that is. Ray Dunn Hocus Pocus Soap Caddy, soap and lotion set, that's what that is. Also, I saw at Target, somebody mentioned at Target they had some Halloween. Here's what I was seeing. They have some Halloween blankets on clearance, $8. I got Neens this one for Christmas this year. Also, they have the black one on the website, but it, but it's not available for shipping, at least not for me. Vampire Rolling Stone shirt. That's actually kind of cute. I kind of like that. There's also, this is another one. They're not really showing up. It's just really weird how they're not. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to type in hide and eat boutique. That's what I need to do. All right, here we go. I, this was my trick last year, and I already forgot my trick. Um, so they have cat scratcher house things. Lots of those if you're looking for a new little house for your cat. All right, here are the blankets. Looks like they also have some baking cups, Halloween baking cups, y'all, for your Halloween treats out there. Uh, also, this trick-or-treat pillow. That's cute. Doesn't look like it's available for shipping, though. How cute is this? This one I feel like was available for shipping the other day when I looked, but it's not anymore. It looks like it's sold out, but you can check your area. This one's still available, this Mr. Skeleton Happy Halloween pillow and this Eek pillow with the spider webs. But yeah, it looks like that's it. But still, we see some Halloween, it's out there still. All right, so the last thing I think we're gonna do is we're, we're on Etsy. We're gonna look and see what they got for Halloween stuff. Um, honestly, if you're looking for Halloween stuff, go, head over to the uh, Facebook group, the Halloween Forever Facebook group. I'll put it in the description box. There have been so many amazing artists, small businesses, creators who have uh, posted some stuff, some Halloween stuff. So you can head over to the Facebook group and there's a bunch of stuff there. Looks like we got some Valentine's, this cute little vintage Valentine. That's really cute. Ooh, I love these Halloween masks. Love these. Let's see what else we can find here. Lots of stuff over on Etsy. Ooh, I love this Joanna Parker fabric pillow. Definitely check out Etsy because I'm seeing some really good stuff over here. I love these little coffin valentines, coffin tines. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. They're little coffins that open up into a valentine. I love these. What a good idea. Oh, those are really cute. 
If you're looking for some Halloween specific, like spooky meets Valentine's Day, definitely I feel like Etsy is the place to go. So I think that is it for this Halloween slash Halloween decor hunting video. Didn't have any luck in the Halloween department at Michael's, unfortunately, but we did see some good stuff on Spirit Halloween and a couple other things sprinkled in there. But yeah, we did see some Halloween out there. I feel like the winner is Dollar Tree because you can always spray paint stuff black and make it your own. And I think for online, I think Etsy is the place to go for Halloween stuff. Um, because you can find some really unique pieces. Anyways, that's kind of what we did today. I feel bad that we didn't see anything at Michael's. Super bummed about it, but we got some Baja Blast and we got to have our good old fashion car ride conversations with good old Mr. Skeleton. It's all good to get out there and chit chat as we're out shopping. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also, let me know anywhere you're finding Halloween stuff, if you're decorating or how you're going to celebrate Halloween, uh, all that kind of stuff. Let me know down in the comments. And yeah, keep an eye out for the Halloween tree decorating video. We're going to do it. So yeah, we're going to be doing that soon. So uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.